Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia. Today is episode number 422. The category will be Roman Mythology. Now, I didn't realize until today how much Roman mythology is almost exactly like Greek mythology, so there might be a little bit of crossover. I think I got just the Roman questions in, but if I've got a question wrong, let me know. Good luck on today's trivia quiz. Question number one. What Roman god, the god of sky and thunder, and the king of gods in ancient Roman religion and mythology, was the father of Venus and also shares a name with a planet? The answer is Jupiter. Question 2. The beginning of the day, month, and year, both calendrical and agricultural, were sacred to him. The first month in our calendar is named for which god in Roman mythology, who is the god of all beginnings? January was named for Janus. Question 3. There are only two planets in our solar system that were not named after Roman gods. Earth is one of them, and what is the other planet that was named after a Greek god instead? The answer is Uranus. Question 4. Born of a mortal priestess and the Roman god of war, what were the names of the twins who were raised by a she-wolf and, according to the legend, founded the city of Rome? The answer is Romulus and Remus. Question 5. Who is the Roman god of financial gain, commerce, eloquence, messages, communication, including divination, travelers, boundaries, luck, trickery, and thieves, and who also serves as the guide of souls to the underworld? The answer is Mercury. Question number six. The son of Mercury and Venus, what Roman god of love in all its varieties, is the counterpart of the Greek god Eros, who often appears as a winged infant carrying a bow and quiver of arrows, whose wounds inspired love or passion in his every victim. The answer is Cupid. Question number seven. Primarily considered a patroness of the countryside, hunters, crossroads, and the moon, what Roman goddess is equated with the Greek goddess Artemis and was born to parents Jupiter and Latona along with her twin brother Apollo? The answer is Diana. Question number eight. Adapted from the Greek god Dionysus and sharing mythology with the Roman god Liber, what is the name of the Roman god of wine and viticulture and was known as the inducer of drunkenness? The answer is Bacchus. Question number nine. 
The largest cast iron statue in the world is located in the city of Birmingham, Alabama, reflecting its roots in what industry that is associated with the Roman god Vulcan? The answer is blacksmithing or ironworks. Question number 10. Although most of the myths involving him were borrowed from the Greek god of war, Ares, who was the Roman god of war that was second only to the king of the gods in the Roman pantheon? The answer is Mars. Question 11. To bring more women to the male-oriented city, the Romans captured women from where and forced them to move to Rome? The answer is the Sabines. Question number 12. Suspiciously similar to the Iliad and the Odyssey, what author wrote the Roman epic The Aeneid where a Trojan traveled to Italy and where he became the ancestor of the Romans? The Aeneid was written by Virgil. Question 13. His great festival became the most popular of Roman festivals. There is a day of the week named after what Roman god who is the god of agriculture and harvest? That would be Saturn. Question 14. What Roman goddess of wisdom, medicine, commerce, handicrafts, poetry, and the arts in general had important temples in Rome and was the patron of the Quinquatrus Festival? The answer is Minerva. Question 15. Born from the foam of the sea, in Roman mythology, who was the goddess of love, sex, beauty, fertility, and the Roman counterpart to the Greek goddess Aphrodite? The answer is Venus. Question 16. Written by the Roman poet Ovid, who were the star-crossed lovers from warring households whose lives ended in tragedy after a series of mistaken assumptions and miscommunications that Shakespeare most likely modeled his Romeo and Juliet play after? The answer is Pyramus and Thisbe. Question 17. Along with Jupiter and Minerva, she was a member of the Capitoline Triad of Deities traditionally introduced by the Etruscan kings. In Roman religion, who is the chief goddess and female counterpart of Jupiter? The answer is Juno. Question 18. 
A mythological figure shrouded in mystery, who was the Roman god of the dead and lord of the underworld that was often accompanied by Cerberus, a three-headed hound that served both as his pet and guardian of the underworld. The answer is Pluto. Question 19. After founding the city, Romulus was the first Roman king, ruling for how many years before disappearing in a thundercloud? The answer is almost 40 years. Some places say 40, some say 37. Question 20. Originally the god of fresh water, by 399 BCE he was identified with the Greek god Poseidon and thus became the deity of the sea. What Roman god is depicted as a bearded man holding a trident? In Roman mythology, he is known as Neptune. Alright, that is it for today. Thank you for watching this episode of Road Trippia. Like I said, and I think you might have noticed, there's a lot of carryover between Roman mythology and Greek mythology. I tried to keep these questions mostly centered on the Roman mythology. There were Greek references, but a lot of that goes back and forth and uh, had a hard time keeping it separate. And some sources that I would look up would say this person had so many kids and the next one would say it had two or three more kids. So it was very hard to nail down very precise information on some of these gods so I tried to stick to some of the bigger better known gods and the stuff that's a little bit more set in stone but if some of these questions aren't quite right feel free to leave me a message in the comments below and I'll look into it but I think that's a pretty good quiz check back tomorrow for another Trebex trivia these are the good ones that are uh, based on the TV show Jeopardy. Just the questions are worded a little bit different so you can answer in the form of an answer, not in the form of a question. And then we got uh, some good ones coming up this weekend. So thank you for watching today and all week. Here is question 21, the tiebreaker. Janus, from question 2, the Roman god of good beginnings, is pictured on early coins with two faces looking in opposite directions. What did those faces represent? Those two faces were looking forward and backwards, supposedly representing the past and the future. Thank you for watching. Have a good night.